Gun and Gun. What's up YouTube, welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. Have you noticed that so many of my videos tend to end up on trains? Today is no exception. Got up at six o'clock this morning, it's now one o'clock, and I'm about an hour away from my final destination, which is Buxton. So the reason I'm always on trains is because I constantly keep buying cheap shit, whether it be the Triumph Daytona 675 or the last Jixxer 750. I'm always traveling around the world picking up cheap crap. And today is no exception because I'm on the way to pick up the Yellow Pearl, aka the cheapest chips Renault Megane track car. I've called it the Yellow Pearl because obviously it's yellow and in French the word Megane means pearl. So while I think the name should be Yellow Pearl, my mate Adam reckons it should be called the Little Yellow Pecker. So if anyone out there has got any better ideas for a name for the yellow Renault Megane, put the comments down, no, put a comment down in the comment section. All right, let's go and get this bloody car. Well, what is up everyone? Hope you can hear me. I am in the car, yay. So uh, it's pretty hard to get a good camera angle today because the the uh, heater doesn't work on the car and the windscreen is covered in water on the inside, covered in moisture, condensation, whatever. So I've done about 10 miles with the car so far. First thing I've noticed is, Jesus Christ, the brakes are good. The brakes are unbelievably good. I don't know what pads are in it or what the guy's done to it, but yeah, it brakes very well. And. Uh, yeah, it's quite noisy, so hopefully, it's, hopefully you can actually hear me, but yeah, so far so good. Obviously, it's uh, hard to tell on such a short journey, but uh, the engine seems to pull really nicely. The, I've adjusted the steering wheel a bit so that it kind of, kind of works for me. Um, still not the best. My knees are a bit too high, so I need to move the seat position a little bit. Um, but yeah, overall, it's good. Now, the other thing that I've noticed is when I was pulling it out of the their unit where I bought the car it was really clunky on the front like it almost sounds like it's got a limited slip diff I, either that or something's broken it could be one of one one of the two but yeah it sounded um, sounded really clunky and it felt kind of positive so it could just be like a broken drive shaft or something but it had a feeling of like limited slip differential so hopefully I'll be able to test it on a few of these roundabouts on the way home uh, but yeah, so far, so good. I'll check in with you in about an hour and let you know if I'm broken down on the side of the road or not. Ciao. No, rien de rien. All right, so about an hour into the journey now. So far, so good. Uh, I stopped for petrol once and then the car refused to start. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. There's a red button down, down there. You can't probably see it, but I pressed that just to see what happened and then the car started so I think it might have some kind of homemade security device on it but uh, yeah so far it's good now I'm just cruising down the motorway because I don't want to waste fuel just driving home but uh, yeah so far so good in about an hour once I turn off the motorway I'm gonna head off on some little lanes and give it a quick old test on the lanes and see what it handles like and stuff like that so see you in a minute so i will uh, have a quick razz around these little roundabouts and we'll have a quick sound check of the car and see, to see what it sounds like because you guys have only heard it cruising along on the motorway so let's uh take a quick detour here to get some fuel Thank you. 
guys, so I just made it home. It's dark as you can see, and uh, the little the little Renault did pretty well. I think um, the only trouble we had is that the, the heater doesn't work, so the windscreen was kept fogging up, so I had to use my shorts that I had in my rucksack, because I'd been to physio yesterday. I'd use my shorts to wipe the windscreen, and uh, yeah, the ABS light won't go out, so it's not ready for inspection yet, but basically she did quite well. It was a good um, three hours, three and a half hours drive, and uh, yeah, the only thing that went wrong was this, this kind of fell out, but yeah, basically tomorrow, I don't have any work on tomorrow, so I'm going to give the car a good old clean tomorrow, clean the inside of the glass and stuff like that and try and figure out what is wrong with the ABS and try and get it ready for inspection. So yeah, that's it guys. See you in the next video. Ciao for now. Yeah.